Okay, this here is uh, OMSI 1.01. It's another bus simulator, and the other, I thought I'd go with this. Um, I've owned it for quite a long while, and it's supposedly the best on the market. And it's uh, my failures for the other two games I purchased. Um, I made uh, recordings of just th those two were just total disasters. Th those are just garbage games. So, anyway. I'm going to show you how to set up, uh, how to play this, how to set up your your routes and all that good stuff, and get a bus running. and And uh, I just kind of hope I don't forget anything. I have a horrible tendency of doing that. So anyway, uh, oh, one more thing before I do that though, I'm going to introduce to you a mod manager called uh, JSGME. It's a, a generic mod manager which allows you to actually install mods and manage mods for games that don't allow that. So I'll show you that in five seconds. Okay here's the uh, generic mod enabler I was talking about here. And what this does is it allows you to set up your mods you want to use. And it does such a wonderful job because it backs up what it's copying over. Uh, so there's nothing really being written uh, re or written over sort of thing. Now since the game itself, uh, OMSI is, it does come in the English version. Uh, it's actually coded in German and the, the problem is, is that the most important pieces aren't in English, they're in German. So I've downloaded a whole bunch of mods, different maps, city maps, that sort of thing. But the ones I was mostly interested in was um, trying to convert as much as possible over to English. So I went ahead and installed uh, voice time packs which are in English which are really and you'll see down here below uh, I'm now activating that mod and it's copying all the cool pieces over for me and before it does that it actually backs up uh, the files of the game. So if you disabled all the mods the game stays as original. English ticket issuer. I want to install that. Canadian coin since I live in Canada. Now is there anything else here I want to? Uh, I have a whole bunch of mods actually but I don't use them simply because uh, like if I want to play on the city maps and I'll load those up and that sort of thing. So um, you do have to uh, conf uh, configure your mods up properly, um, but uh, I'm not going to get into that. Uh, I'll have to leave that to you. All right, that seems to be okay. Now back to the game. Okay, before I actually begin, uh, just go to the manual PDF uh, where you installed um, OMSI. And you're going to see something here. It's uh, it's close, really close to the bottom. Let me see, OMSI. Okay, uh, it doesn't give me a page number. Oh no, it's actually page 112 of the PDF. Now, uh, some buses will have the rollers, um, but the bus I'm going to be driving, it's not going to have that. But it uh, here are the roller numbers. And some of those buses, you'll have. Um, a little, I don't know what you want to call it, a roller menu sort of thing on the bus that you can switch and choose exactly what sort of bus and destination is or your matrix is. And of course you'd be putting these codes in. But that's not what we're going to be looking at right now. We're going to be looking at the routes. Now here are the lines. Okay, so here's the line course and the route. So you go ahead and you choose which one you want to go with. Now the one I'm probably going to be going with, now if you can't print this off, which like I can't, I have to write down on a piece of paper. Alright, the route I'm going to be doing is, okay, line course is 09200 zero, zero, and the route is number 2, zero, 02. Okay, that's the route I'm going to be choosing in the simulator. Now if I do this right it should work. If it doesn't, well then you'll see me make a mistake like I usually do and how to figure them out. Okay. Now if you scroll down further of course it's going to give you all your key assignments 
and all that good stuff okay which are rather handy but I have a horrible memory for it so anyway let's get to the game now okay when you first start up the game this is what you see okay alright we're gonna create a new one a new persona a new driver <sighs> Mr. Mike nah uh, just put Mike in there I'm male put in your birth date if you wanna create your real birth date you can enter it in manually or scroll down through and do all that good stuff now as far as the picture is concerned I have absolutely no idea how to go about doing that but uh, I'll figure it out alright Mr. Mike there's my profile okay and it goes to driven buses and all that stuff down here alrighty I think that's all I do and it gives you all that stuff. I went ahead and got into an accident a long to a while ago, and I left the scene because I was trying to keep up with my uh, bus route. But I ended up, um, well, being summoned. <laughs> summoned. <laughs> anyway, what you want to do, since you made your personal file, load map without buses, and choose your map. Now, if you install custom maps, you'll see them listed here, and if you have them activated if you happen to use the mod manager I showed you there so we're gonna go with Berlin Spandau 1989 I think that's the one I want now what I've noticed here uh, about other people's videos that they end up not teaching you much it's um, they've either played it so bloody much that uh, they're so quick in how to set it up they don't sit and try to explain and what they're doing and to also um, make mistakes and to me you can't learn anything if you don't make any mistakes so anyway it gives you a little bit of sp spiel down here in the lines 92 I don't speak German but Freud A Street or Freud Street in Rathus Spandau um, I don't know what any of that means but the lines and I, uh, okay well anyway we'll get to this now if you choose options you should come up with an option screen here come on sometime today come on there we go okay you can change pretty much a lot of things here since I'm using my keyboard uh, the automatic steering I selected will center itself you can choose the date or time it will also use your system time and the ticket selling I have it easy uh, I have, haven't sold tickets yet so I haven't a clue you can choose your language but like I spoke in earlier uh, none of the what's them called are uh, in English so that's why I had to look for mods for it. You can change pretty much. You can set up your game controllers, keyboard settings, and all that stuff. When you're done with that, okie dokie, you can close it and press start. Okay, this is, uh, I'm going to show you, hopefully, how to set up uh, a route for OMSI. Um, bus simulator and uh, how to start your route and all that good stuff and uh, you know have fun with this game it's actually fantastic I just learned how to play this about a day and a half ago and I still make tons of mistakes trying to figure out how to do things so uh, let's get to it here alright when you first start it this is what you're gonna see okay so press your alt key And when you do, what you want to do is go to new. All right. Doodly doodly do. It's going to bring up a bus. Now, for the sake of this how-to, uh, we're just going to stick with defaults, and you'll know that you'll see what I mean. All right. For the manufacturer, it's man. I mean, that's default. All right. The type of bus we want to use for this particular one is the SD202-D92. It's way at the bottom. So select that give it a second to catch up 
There we go. The color you're not going to be able to change unless you're, you know, using your packs and all that stuff. Now the depot we want to leave at Spandau. If you click down here, there's Berlin, Die Street, Gondorf, Spandau. So just go with Spandau and press OK. Now a window's going to pop up here saying set position of vehicle. The one we're going to be using is Air Street Strategenzi. Okay, I apologize to all you German speakers out there because I really, I mean, I can hardly speak my own native language. <laughs> okay, press OK. It's going to get a little wonky here. It's loading up the map, the position of the map, and uh, all that stuff. And there's the bus. And there's me. Good looking fellow, isn't he? Anyway, enough of that craziness. Alright, press F1 to go to your cab of your vehicle. Now to move and scroll around like this, you keep and press and hold your middle mouse button down. Alright, All right. now that we've done that, press your space bar to reset your viewpoint. Okay, the thing that we want to do right now is to set things up properly for your route. So press your Alt key, which also puts it in pause mode, and go to Ba, ba, da, ba, ba. Go to this little thing right here. It's right beside the little man's head there with a hat. Okay, so set that. What we're going to do is set up our timetable. So open up the line. We're going to go with 92. The tour, I choose one. I'm not even sure what that is all about, really, except for I'm thinking, okay, well, no, actually, I'm not thinking. Otherwise, I'd be able to explain it more, but I can't. All right, so what should be shown down below is line number 92, the terminus, which is Foyd Street or whatever, and the start is uh, Stadting Grands, Grains or something like that, and the end is Foyd, and it gives you the time of, uh, you know, where your first stop is going to be anyway. We'll get deeper into that. And your first stop will be Stadting Grands. Now, you can... Click here below, it's uh, for driving as additional bus, AI bus will not be removed, or that's if you click that, so the normal AI bus will be working, or you can unclick it, and the AI bus will, leave, will be taken away. So let's uh, just leave it unticked, and I'll show you what will come up. And it's telling me that you displace bus number 3457, which will be withdrawn. It's just telling you that the AI bus is crap pull up. Now, press your Alt key one more time, and you see uh, a red question mark, okay? It's to the left of the clock, and it has a yellow right pointing arrow. Click on that, and what has happened here is that doing that, it's actually gonna sh it's gonna help you follow your certain uh, route. It's gonna tell you your bus. Uh, your bus stops, that sort of thing. This bus is going to crash into me. It does this every time. Ah, uh, well. Stupid AI sometimes, I tell you. Okay, press F1 to go back in. Now, we're going to teach you how to turn your electricals and get your bus started. Press the letter E on your key keyboard. Turns on the electrical. Now, let's start the bus up. Now you're thinking that it probably would be a lot more difficult, but it isn't. See this little button here, right underneath the little warning hat? And next to your speedometer. Press on that. Listen to that engine roar, huh? Alright, turn these things on. These are your lights and all that good stuff. These are your heating fans and that. Your air conditioning. Turn them all on. I'm not sure what this one does. I don't know if that produces, switches the heat on or whatever, but I'm just leaving it off for now. Now, you can, to zoom in and zoom out, you keep your finger pressed on your right mouse button key, you pull back the mouse in order to zoom, push back or push forward to zoom out. And if you ever want to reset your viewpoint, press the space bar. All right, since we're wanting to look at something here, Let's go down here. Now, I'm not quite sure how this stuff actually is. This is for your vents and all that. Uh, I'm not even sure the proper settings for it, but I would suspect that this here is your 
for cool air, hot, open up your vents sort of thing. Oh, come on, you little chicken. I suppose we leave it at that. Now, I saw someone do that. And he said it was okay, so that's what I do. It would be nice if this thing would just move and stop screwing around on me. Uh, what a pain in my ass. On, little hand, it's like being on a pixel hunt here. All right, leave it like that. Now this is your temperature. Try to keep it around 14, and we're below 15. Now before we go any further, I have mods installed, and of course this game is coded in German, and I have mods installed that change uh, this ticket thingy. Uh, to English. Now, I don't have it f set for all buses, but uh, if you read in s German, you'll be fine, but uh, if you drive some of the other buses, it's not going to be in English, and good luck with that if you can't. All right, what we're going to do is uh, press the space bar to reset. Okay, our bus is all ready to rock and roll. Now, let's zoom in here. Now when you set up, let's press Alt for a second, I want to show you. Once you set up your uh, your route, okay, your timetable, it's going to actually show up here. And your first stop, like I said, is 10.23. If you want to know what time it is, press Alt and go to your clock, and it's 7 minutes after 10 right now. Don't adjust anything just yet. We will in a few seconds. Okay, press spacebar. Now we're going to enter our route information. Now, if you do it in the wrong sequence, uh, you'll get a number show up here, but not the uh, street on your um, scrollable thingy here. I don't know what they call it. But anyway, that is to let uh, people who are at the bus stops know that, you know, what route you're working on, that sort of thing. So, let's set this up right. Let me look at my, picture, my paper here. Mm hmm. All right. The line will be zero two, or no, not zero two. It'll be your route, so it'll be like a five-digit number. So it'll be zero nine. No, it won't. It's a two-digit, right? Okay, so it's zero two. I always screw this up. Always. I can never seem to remember this. But anyway, press line. We're going to put 0, 9, 2, uh, 0, 0. Enter. And we're going to go to root, which is 0, 2. And if you put it in the proper sequence, it'll come up with Freud Street or whatever. And to make sure that... Uh, you done it right, just press F3, and there it is. It's right there. Okay. Now, press your space bar. All right. Looks like we're all ready to go. Um, just one more thing. There's another mod. Since I live in Canada, I installed a Canadian uh, money mod. Now, let's just hope this doesn't crap out the game. <coughs> Anyway, press the space bar. Now what we're going to do is since our first stop is at 1023, which is right ahead of us here, right there. Okay, right there. What we're going to do is press Alt, and we're going to go to the clock, and we're going to advance time. So let's put this to 1019, just in case I screw up somehow. I'm going to advance the time. Press the space bar to reset. Now, to get your bus moving, press D to put it in drive. All right, and take your brake off. Why am I having such trouble with this today? Every time I do a video of some kind. Or oh, one sec. I want to open my window. There we go. 
Press spacebar to reset your view. Take the brake off. Now I'm using keyboard. Um, hold on, I'll just show you something really fast here. Let's go to options. That's your option button right beside the X, which is the exit button, which you don't want to press. Let's bring up the options here. Uh, because I'm recording this, it's going to take a little extra time to pull it up simply because... There we go. Game controller. I have a Logitech rumble pad. Now, if you want, if you have a steering wheel or whatever, you can set this up before you even play the game. Uh, you just click on it and pull it over, and it's going to make it active. Okay? You can set up your, uh, your X and Y's. Um, you can auto-config it, your buttons. You can select your config your buttons and all that stuff. But since I'm not wanting to do that, I'm using mouse. Alright. I also have some English speaking packs installed. Now before you can open the doors, before you can open the doors, you press, if you have a keypad, you press your minus key which puts your bus in uh, brake mode. And on your keypad, there's a forward slash and a star. It's up, up top, close to the num lock. And those open the doors. The forward slash opens the left door, and the star opens the right good door. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Good day, driver. Okay, good. This is working. That's Canadian $10 smackaroonie. Up here, it's going to show you exactly the ticket type, full rate. The ticket price is two seventy. I think you forgot my ticket. Shut up. Okay, and the cash is ten bucks. I think you forgot my ticket. Oh, shut up. Just take the money. All right. Zoom into here, and it's a uh, full rate. Can I get some Since service two, here, please? Since it's two. Can I get some service here, oh, please? Oh, that's not the one I want. Oh, shut Driver. up. Driver. Adult return two seventy. Shut up. And Can I gave get her some so service here, please? She gave you ten bucks, so give her the I ticket. I think you forgot my ticket. No, I didn't. Now give her a change. You owe eight thirty, eight dollars and thirty cents. That's not right. It should be five, or no, that's not what I want. Um. Eight. Wow! Can I really keep all? Wow! Can wow! Can, wow! Can I really keep all this? Gave the passenger too much money. It's eight thirty. No, it's seven thirty. Thanks for your generosity. Oh, son of a bitch, you took off of my money. Hey, hold on. Get back here, you little thief. I gave too much. I needed to give 7.30 out. Let's stink it, Dave. Of course, that's going to show up on your report. All right, since there's no more passengers, close your doors, which are the same keys for opening them. And you press your minus key on your numpad. I did check my time. But, uh... Talk about annoying numbers. All part of the fun, I suspect. Now press Q. All right, let's pause this for a second. Okay, down here is your heading sort of thing, and your first stop you just came from. Now, as soon as you leave your stop, press Q, and it's going to let people know. It's going to let people know what you're, what's going on. What your next stop is. And it also helps you know what stop. If you go to F2, you'll see it's telling the customers what stop it is. Alright, I gave her too much change. Damn. Yeah, she walked off. She's a thief. Alright, because that bus earlier smacked my rear end at the beginning, remember? Well, it's saying that, well, I left the scene. And I'm not even sure even how to report it, so. And all that stuff. I am really oh, to shut up, you stupid people. Go get on another bus. Jump out right now. Go ahead. Uh, you have to watch your steering of the bus here because even though you're situated on the left side, Whoa, whoa, whoa. Alright. Yeah. 
Never said I was a great driver, guys. I'm sure I'll probably get comments on how crappy I am at driving, but hey, you know, that's how it is. All right. I wish they would have an option so you could bring your mirror here. So you keep an eye on what you're doing, but it's pretty damn hard to go like this and go keep an eye on things. This is our next stop, as you can see. Because of here, right here. All right, press your minus key on your keypad and open up your doors. Hey there, how you doing? Let's see if I can't do change properly again. Could I get a ticket for the whole... What's going on? What's your problem? Alright, ticket, day ticket. So, take your smackaroonies. Oh, come on. Let's go down here. Looks like she... Adult day rider. Where's my ticket? Hold on, I don't think that's it. Maybe it is. Um... Hello? That's not the right change. Hold on. Since the cost now only What are you up to? Oh, Where's shut up. Where's the rest of it? Shut up. Thanks, Ben. There's the loony. <sighs> Let's close our doors. Reset my viewpoint minus key. And... Make sure no other vehicles are coming your way. Don't want to get into an accident. And this is about the end of this tutorial. Obviously, oh, press you since we left, so you can change your stops. Unfortunately, it's in German. And Shut up. our next stop here. Right after this one I'll end the video because now I just showed you pretty much the basics. And like I said, it would be nice to be able to pull the mirror. Closer into here. Alright. Press the minus key to set up the, the brakes. Open up the doors. I do suggest, if you're English-speaking only, to grab the mods. Okay, she wants full rate. She gave us 270. All right. It's 30 cents. What was it? Full rate? Uh, adult return. Here's your ticket. For 30 cents. And she'll take her Day change. Day pass, please. That's 10 smackaroonies. Day pass, adult day rider. Print your ticket. And give him a one dollar bell. And he's all happy and happy go likey. Alright, close both your doors. Press your minus key and off you go. Don't forget to press Q. Have a good one guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye bye.